today we're going to be finding out if foreigners enjoy Indonesian cuisine. This Which this? I'm kind of skeptical about. For me, it's not sweet. It's very spicy again. We're going to be leaving the Lawrence first and traveling to Jungle Paddle in Canggu, Bali, for our guests to try Maluku food for the very first time. See you there. Our guests today include Damien Hu, also known as the Batik Cowboy. He's from Australia. He makes online videos and loves Indonesian cuisine. Next, we have Hamad, a Canadian citizen who's visiting Bali and cannot stop eating mee goreng. Our third guest is Julian Dennis, a German national who loves paddle tennis and, like myself, has a strong intolerance for spicy food. And finally, we have Forrest. Hey, you are. <laughs> He's from America and is notorious for being a tough critic when reviewing food. <coughs> Sorry guys, I was a little late. Ooh. Guys, today you're going to be trying Maluku food. You know what Maluku is? <laughs> I have no idea, honestly. <laughs> Maluku? I'm assuming that's like an Indonesian name for something. Yeah. Have you guys have any experience with Indonesian food? Well, for me, it's mee goreng. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely team nasi. So we've got both Team Nasi and Mi Goreng fans sat on the table. It will be interesting to see what they think of a food that we'll be trying today. A couple of days ago, I ran a poll asking which is the best food from Maluku. And the overwhelming favorite is actually Papeda, which will come out later in the video. The first dish we have today is Ikan Goreng Cholo. Ikan Goreng Cholo. You may open your eyes. Cholo. Uh, what? <laughs> I tell you what, I love the tomatoes on top. That's a great impression. It's like a bruschetta thing. This is the sort of fish you get in a five-star restaurant. We definitely don't have anything like this in the States, at least not commonly. Uh, I mean, it looks like there's some little tiny peppers, and uh, there's some tomato, and yeah. it, it looks like basil. I, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, we'll see how, see how it looks. I feel like there's probably some soy sauce in there. That's yeah, what's bringing out the black color. Funky but... brown sauce. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Uh, Add some of the funky toppings and... You know what? I like it. It's got a, a bit of a fishy taste, but not too overpowering. I think they have a basil and a tomato topping that adds the flavor and this sweet sauce. For me, it's not sweet. It's very spicy again. <laughs> and I have a hard time like speaking. Oh, definitely good. Spicy. <laughs> It's not Everything's too spicy for foreign. Are you, are you surprised by how spicy the food in Maluku is? Listen, I'm not surprised by the spice. You're new to this country. It snuck up on me kind of like, uh, and then it, it was not that bad. There's like a sweet sauce going on, a little bit of spice as well. Combination of flavors when you get tomato meets the basil um, with this sauce, it's, it's just a great mix. But so far, I'm liking it. So overall, guys, what is your rating out of 10? I'll give it a seven. So I'm gonna rate it an eight out of 10. Um, it'd probably get a higher number if it was crispier, but not bad. I would definitely buy this. You know what, honestly, I really like this. I think it's a good fish. I, I like the, uh, the freshness of the tomatoes. No, truly, like I, I like the, uh, there's a little bit of basil in there that adds good flavor and it's not too spicy for me. It's got a bit of kick, which I enjoy. Right. It's not like insane levels of spice and right. it tastes like a, a good fish, eight. An eight out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight. I think it's a good fish. It's not a nine. It is an eight and a half out of 10. That's still pretty high. I don't know if I would bring this back to the States, <laughs> right, but... Right. The, the rest of it, definitely. <laughs> kohu, kohu. Kohu, kohu. <laughs> you may open your eyes. Let's go. Hoo, hoo. Wow. How do you spell kohu? K-O-H-U. It's like a salad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a tuna salad. What is this? It does. What do you think the white stuff is? Parmigiano? I, th I think it's fish. Coconut. Yeah. Chicken? It's clapper. Coconut. Oh, it's Grated coconut. clapper. Coconut, okay. that's interesting. Okay. okay. This could be fun. Here we go. Mm, I think it's all right. You know, I definitely taste a little bit of fish. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh. Fish and coconut, here we go. Of course it's fish and coconut. Say. I was confused. Kalapa meets ikan. Coconut meets fish. It's... What, do you, what do you think of a combination? Yeah? It's amazing. It's spicy again. I think the great thing about this dish is it's not bony, so you can really get stuck into the whole flavor of it. If there was no coconut in there, I feel like you could serve this in Canada and it'd be like a salad back home. Kohu Kohu suits this dish. Kohu is like coconut. Kohu is like a fish, like mahi mahi, Kohu Kohu. So it's like a fish coconut dish. I'm all about it. Would I recommend this dish to my friends and family at home? Absolutely. 
You would. It's good. Wow, fantastic. You've just finished being paddled. How is this post workout dish? Oh, loving it. I can, I'm absolutely loving it. I can feel the energy getting back in my body after that game. We smashed it. One of the healthiest Indonesian dishes I've ever got my mouth around. All right. Honest. And what, what score do you give out of 10, both of you? Mm. I actually quite like this. Uh, I'm not quite as liberal with my scores. I like to keep it real. I'd give this a solid 6.5. 6.5? Well, I mean, come on. Everyone gives things like 10, 11, 12, like 6.5. It's not the best dish I've ever had, but it's tasty. A solid 8.7. Probably going to give it a solid 8. This is 10 out of 10. <laughs> There's no other score. A it's, salad gets a 10 out of 10. That's what it should be. That should be called. Kohu Kohu, not just a the salad. Coconut and the beans are adding like a lot of flavor into it, I'd give it an eight. Is it like Enak or Dinak? Oh, Enak for me. Enak. A six out of 10 is not an Enak. Like, <laughs> come on. Okay. I'm a That's tough it. critic. So before we hand out Papeda, we'll be adding a new segment to the show where we'll be testing our guests' Indonesian knowledge. How many islands are in Indonesia? Damn it. Um, there's a lot. I'm gonna say 250. 1,420. 1,700? Two and a half thousand. There are 17,500 islands in Indonesia. 17,500? What? Wow. Oh. <clears throat> okay, second question. How many different languages are spoken in Indonesia? 22. I'll go with about 300. I'm gonna say 13. I'm gonna go with six. Over 700 languages in Indonesia. Well, you got it closer, bro. <laughs> You got yeah. it much closer. <laughs> what is the population of Indonesia? Julian, you go first. 272 million. I will go 265 million. 218 million. 115. The answer is 270 million. Hey! Wow. I said 218. Right. That's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. That's that third grade education coming in handy right now. <laughs> I would say that I'm of above average intelligence. In third grade, I was towards the top of my class. So. How many active volcanoes are there in Indonesia? 10. I'll go with 22. 17. 30 active volcanoes, that's my answer. I don't actually know how many active volcanoes there are. Yeah. How many do you think there are? I have no idea. I, I'm gonna say 100. You're gonna say 100? Uh, says 100. Many, like, oh, I was pretty close, I was pretty close. I said 100, and there's 130 active volcanoes in Indonesia. So there's like 10 times as many things as I thought there would be here. Uh, you've been, you've been living in Bali for quite some time. For me, it's only been three weeks, so I'm like guessing everything. So that's it for the questions. I will be revealing the results towards the end of the episode. Papeda ikan kwa. You may open your eyes. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. I know ikan means fish, so I'm gonna guess that's some sort of fish stew. What? All right. <laughs> All right, so this looks more like an Indonesian dish. Wait, what? And yeah, there, there's gooey stuff on there. We're supposed to eat this? I'm kind of skeptical about. Uh, I don't want to say what it looks like, Go but... On, just, just say it, you're all going to say it. Yeah, it, like, if you can see what it looks like, uh, I'm not going to say it, because I know what it looks like. It looks a little bit like Vaseline. That's, that's better than what I was thinking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give it a shot, though. All right, well, let's, let's go for jelly. Ready, three, two, one. What does, it what does it taste of? Huh. Yeah, maybe if I were to like stick rice in a blender for like an hour. I can see that. I can see that because um, rice kind of doesn't have like a very strong flavor. Let's eat. Oh, now yeah, we're talking. Co coconut's a lot stronger here. Um, I don't know why there's fish and gooey stuff to go with it. I I'd prefer it like just on its own or vegetables, but I like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the fish and gooey stuff combination, really. It's, really? it's like a spice party in my mouth, and everyone's invited. <laughs> Is it pedastically? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but <laughs> it's very spicy. Pedas means spicy. Oh, pedas means spicy. It is yeah, spicy. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's yeah. You know you're dealing with a Mr. CEO of spicy food himself. CEO Makan Padas. <laughs> what do you rate this dish out of 10? Oh, I love this, man. It's not too spicy. 7.7. 7.7? 7. 7.7. 7. That's very German. We calculate in exact numbers. <laughs> I'm going to give this <clears throat> 6.5. I would rate it higher, except for this stuff. I'm feeling a solid eight and a half out of 10. Eight and a half, 8.5. 8. 8. It's wow. a really there you good go. fish dish. It's a little too bony, but it's got lots of flavor. Yeah. The flavor is good. You know, I like, it's like got a little bit of spice. I can taste, almost seems like lemongrass, maybe some basil, tomato, of course. Mm. 
but the, it's just the gooey stuff with it all. I would probably go about for four. Like I'm, I'm gonna oh, rate got, it a four. We got a four here. Oh uh, yeah, definitely a four. Because wow. of the texture is kind of weird. It doesn't look good. Some parts of it taste good. The other parts have no taste to it. So I'm personally gonna give it a four out of ten. Out of all of the dishes you tried today, wow. this, is, this is the this is Indonesia's favorite. That, wow. Was it and you surprised. actually wrote voted it for least, least favorite. Well, I'm surprised. Uh, to the people of Maluku. <laughs> I apologize for such a low rating. Ugh. Like I would not recommend this to family. I if, would, if my family came here, I'd be like, don't go for this one, everything else. We're I also would not recommend it to my family or friends. Okay. <laughs> unless I don't like them. Hey guys, that is it. Thank you so much for being here today. Awesome. At Jungle Paddle here in Changu. I hope you had a fantastic time playing paddle tennis and enjoying the delicious delicacies we have here in Indonesia. Overall, would you say you're impressed with Indonesian cuisine, especially from Maluku? Absolutely. I, I want to say that the one thing that is constant amongst all these dishes is the flavor. I didn't really like the texture. There was a few things that were weird in the way they were cooked, but I think the flavor is superb on everything. I would say I'd, I'd want to try a little bit of everything to see what I like. So far, uh, out of the three dishes, two were really good. Absolutely recommend it. This one, not so much for me. Although the flavor was good, texture just kind of wasn't getting along. But, I love it. So now it's time to reveal the winner of our Indonesian quiz. The winner is Julian, who wins a free game at Jungle Paddle. You can book your own courts and get 20% off by scanning this QR code and mentioning CEO Padas when booking. Now before I reveal the winning dish from Maluku, let's remind ourselves of a poll results I shared with you earlier, which shows that Papeda is the number one dish from Maluku. Based on our guests' reviews today, Kohu Kohu is their number one dish from Maluku, whilst Papeda is the least popular. Let me know what dishes I should introduce to our guests next week, and I'll see you guys in the Lawrenceverse very soon.